Hello, I'm Professor Keon West, and I'm the author of The Science of Racism. I'll tell you what I didn't write in The Science of Racism. Uh, earlier this week, I went into a store, just some small random store, to buy some small random thing. I don't know, gum or cookies or something. And while I was in the store, um, the security guard started following me around the store, that thing that so many black men, I, I'd say young black men, but you can probably see I'm not, I'm not young anymore, but so many youngish black men we experience that we walk around stores and then the security guard's right there and you walk there and he's right there and that keeps happening. And I didn't write about that in the book, um, maybe one throwaway line, but I didn't write about it because it's, to me, it's scientifically uninteresting. And I've seen this happen where people tell a story like that and they, they say how bad it makes them feel, they say how much it hurt them, that having lived a life as I have where they've never committed any crimes against anyone, where they've never stolen or shoplifted or anything like that, being like a fairly high-ranking member of academic society, having written books and papers, you'd think you don't need to be followed around a store as if you're a thief, but this story doesn't carry any weight and I know that some people think that's not fair, but if I were to explain this to someone who didn't think racism was a problem, they would just say, maybe I'm too sensitive, or maybe I'm imagining things, or maybe the security guard is following me for some other reason. Maybe I looked like someone else who had done some shoplifting earlier that day or that week. And while that is a difficult and irritating response that appears to minimize my very genuine experience, scientifically, they have a point, and that's important. Scientifically, you can't actually tell how big a problem racism is because I told a story of being followed around a store. Uh, a white woman could tell a story about being followed around a store as well. You don't know how true it is. You don't know if she was misremembering or misidentifying something. You don't know if that security guard follows everyone around the store. So I have no idea why they were following me around the store. That's why we need science. 